the Arkin U1. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Arkin U1 reverse osmosis water system. Unboxing the unit, you get the U1 water system, a quick start guide that's uh, laminated, and you also get uh, sort of like a cheat sheet with all the controls. The user guide and a tool to remove the uh, filters. Briefly going over some specs, this is a 4-in-1 compact design reverse osmosis system. There's no modification of plumbing needed. It can be placed on the countertop. It uses the reverse osmosis UV and hydrogen water treatment technologies. Cold water, hot water, custom cup sizes, it filters half a gallon in seven minutes. It has multiple filters. Stage one is the sediment filter. It filters out sand, sediment, and rust. Step two is the activated carbon filter. It removes harmful chemical residues, such as VOCs, THMs, pesticides, and eliminates foul odors. Step three is the reverse osmosis membrane. It purifies the water by blocking all the harmful contaminants. Step four is the alkaline post filter. It returns the beneficial minerals to the purified water for better taste. And step five is the hydrogen infusion, which you can toggle on and off if you want more of a spring water taste. It's simple to operate and I'll go over the details shortly, but basically you have to fill the tank with the tap water, place it on the unit, and select your temperature. Here you can get an idea of the filter cost and they last anywhere between 6 to 24 months, which I will cover later. Now this system doesn't require any uh, plumbing installation. Um, it's pretty much you just plug it in and it, it's ready to go. It's made for placing on the countertop or on a side table. Um, it does come with this uh, magnetic drip tray that pretty much just attaches on the bottom like so. One thing to keep in mind, the dimensions of the unit, uh, the width is nine and a half, the height is 17 inches, and the depth is 19 inches. So here you can see uh, the front view, you have the display panel, the hydrogen uh, window here, and the, um, the drip tray. And then here is a side view, you have the the fresh water and and the uh, the reject water tank, and you can see again the dimensions as far as the depth and the height. So keep that in mind um, when you purchase this and where you're going to place it, and just just take the proper measurements. And here's a look at the right side. You can see the the fan here for the unit, and then the uh, the fill level for the reject water. So looking at the uh, back here, you can see the, uh, the tank. Uh, it has a one gallon capacity. Half a gallon will be filtered and then half a gallon will be the uh, reject water. So accessing the, the tank is pretty simple. Just remove the uh, cover on the top. You have this handle on the top here and then you can just pull it like so. and then installing it. Just line up the hooks on the back and put the lid back on. So to access the uh, filter, there's a cover on the top here, so you just wanna press down. And then you can pop the cover out. So you have uh, three filters on the top. You have one that's labeled PAC. This is a two-on-one filter. Uh, it's a sediment and carbon filter, and this can last up to six to 12 months. The number two filter is the uh, RO filter, and this is the uh, encapsulated reverse osmosis membrane. Purifies water by blocking all virtual uh, harmful contaminants. This can last up to 12 to 24 months. And then you have the CF filter here. This is the alkaline post filter, and it returns uh, beneficial minerals like calcium, magnesium to purify the water for better taste. And this will last up to six to 12 months. And on the bottom, you have the hydrogen module, and that creates an antioxidant, hydrogen enriched water that will give more of a, a spring water taste. And you can toggle that on and off, 
and that will last six to 12 months. Okay, now looking at the uh, control panel on the uh, top here, it's a large display and it's a touch panel. Uh, once you power up the device, just follow the user manual because before you start using it, you have to go through a uh, rinse cycle. So you have to do it three times. You have to fill up the, uh, the, the tank and then let it filter uh, the water and then do it three times uh, before you get started. So the, the controls are pretty intuitive on the front. Uh, you can see you have a uh, reset button. You have a small cup, big cup, rinse, lock, normal. Uh, you have the cold water. Um, you have the milk, coffee, tea, and hot water presets. And then this button will dispense it, and then the minus and the plus will allow you to toggle uh, the different functions and, and sizes. And then you also have the uh, filter life on the top here. It has a one, two, and three, so you know which filter needs to be changed. The hydrogen uh, filter, you can toggle that on and off. And then on the uh, left side here, uh, this will display if it needs water, if it's filtered, or any type of error code. So just to highlight some of the, the features here for the small cup, um, you can press it like so, and you can adjust the, uh, the size. So right now it's on seven ounces, nine, and five. So there's uh, three sizes, five, seven, and nine. For the big cup, you have 16, 14, 12, and 10 ounces. And then pressing the small cup and large cup at the uh, same time, it will dispense all the uh, half gallon filtered water. And as mentioned earlier, this does have the uh, cold water and hot water feature. Uh, turning the cold water feature, uh, basically you just press this and it will say prep. When it reaches temperature, it will say cool. And again, the cold water temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And then to activate the hot water feature, you can't just press the, uh, the hot, you have to press this lock button. It's a safety feature. So press the lock and then the hot. And then you can see the, right now it's set on 212. And then you can adjust that accordingly, uh, depending on your temperature and that's instant hot water. And the coffee, tea, milk, that all has the uh, presets and you can adjust the temperature. Milk is 118 degrees, um, coffee is 185, and tea is set at 194, and then you can increase it and decrease it accordingly. So with the cold water feature, you can have it on all the time. When you do have that, the fan will keep running, but you can also just hold it down and, and, and turn off the cold water feature if you don't want the, the fan constantly running. Um, one thing to keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, it does come with the uh, quick uh, shortcut user guide. So keep this to the side because it comes in handy. It explains all the functions and settings. And then looking at the display here, you have the uh, total dissolved solids. You have the uh, measurement right there. Um, turning on the hydrogen filter, if you turn that on, that will display the uh, parts per billion. And then you can see on the bottom here, um, it will light up. Uh, that will tell you that the hydrogen filter is on. And you can turn that on and off. Okay, now just to uh, demonstrate real quick so you can see the, the water flow when it's uh, dispensing the filtered water. I've got a, about a 16 ounce uh, glass here. Just gonna put it here. Um, let's set it on normal, uh, big cup. And I believe the big cup is already, okay. It's set to 14. Let's increase it to 16. And then once you have that set, you can just press the dispense here. And then you can see the, the actual flow. Um, it will remember the last preset, so you don't have to keep toggling it. So if you have it set on 16 and then you use the big cup again, it will start off at 16. 
And then you can stop the flow by pressing the uh, dispense button here. And then you can just press it again to continue. And then turning on the hydrogen uh, filter, again, if you want that uh, spring water taste, you can just press that. The uh, bottom here will light up. I'm gonna put the uh, glass here. Let's do a small cup. Let's do five ounces and press the dispense button. Now you have the hydrogen uh, infused water. So using the uh, cold water feature, just hold down the uh, cold button and then you'll start to hear the uh, fan go on and right now it's prepping. Once it's cold, the display will say cool and then you're ready to uh, use the cold feature. All right, now let's look at the hot water feature. Again, you have to press the, uh, the lock and then the hot feature and then it will turn red and then dispense. I have it on the small cup, five ounces. And there you go. Yeah, it's definitely uh, producing the hot water. You can see here it's fogging up a little bit from the, uh, the steam. Okay, my thoughts on the Arkin U1. The reason I purchased this is I wanted uh, filtered water, being able to use the tap water and getting that filtered and uh, rely less on bottled water. I didn't want to mess with any plumbing and when I saw this, that this is a countertop unit, pretty much just plug it in and, and you're good to go. You know, it really uh, piqued my interest. So easy to use, easy to uh, uh, set up and you'll be up and running in no time and you get you get all the filtration that that you need as far as taste Very clean. You'll immediately notice it once you get your your first uh, Sample out of it um, If you want more of a spring water taste you can you can turn on the hydrogen filter uh, The unit is just packed with features. You got the cold the hot um, nice touch display big uh, water water tank in the back and um, you know again if you want that clean water taste rely less on bottled water um, i think this unit is something you should uh, look into um, i left the uh, link in the description box below if you want to check it out if you like my video go ahead and hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button as well until next time this is brian unbox take care everyone